All right, now, um, the tip of the week this week is something pretty amazing. It comes up a lot. It's how to create subcategories for classified posts. Um, with the Brilliant Directory's default functionality, on a per post basis, you can define a set of categories. Uh, but it comes up often that you also need to create a subset of categories. So what we wanted to do in this tip of the week is show you in a very basic form, in a demo, how you can create subcategory for classified posts. Um, and David, you actually work and connect with a lot of users that are on free trials with Brilliant Directories or, have, or who have recently started with Brilliant Directories. And I think this topic comes up quite frequently, yeah? Yeah, so you can create through what we're going to show you, we can create subcategories, uh, work around for it, for any post type, but really the primary post type that this has been requested for is for classified sites. So for any of you who have dedicated classified sites, this should probably come in handy and it's a, it's a pretty viable workaround that we're excited to show you. Yeah, you bring up a good point. Um, when to kind of use this strategy, I think it's when the website's primary post type is one type of post type. For example, it's primarily classifieds. You're not really mixing events and classifieds and, and coupons. Um, you can certainly do that, but it does, it does add a level of complexity. Uh, but when it's one primary post type, like classifieds, uh, it does work very, very well. Um, and then with that, you'll have better organization of your categories and posts. Uh, and again, it is really requested for, for classified sites uh, to work with Brilliant Directories with this uh, logic. So um, I think we should just dive right into it. So if you want to set up uh, subcategories for classifieds, you can basically do it in three steps. Uh, we added a fourth step here, and I actually have a bonus step to take it a step further to customize it further. Uh, so the first thing to do is decide what your top and sub-level categories are. And the good thing is, in this example on the next slide, uh, we have some simple uh, top and sub-level categories. The next thing you want to do, and we already talked about it in the webinar earlier, is you want to clone the classifieds post type and name it to match a top-level category. Then you're going to go ahead and add your sub-level categories for that new post type. The last thing you really need to do is just assign which members can post each type of classified ad. And what's even better is you can charge a different price to post each classified ad. It all sounds like a big tongue twister saying categories and <laughs> subcategories, but let me show you exactly what I'm referring to here. So let's say we wanted to create a classifieds website with the top level categories, cars, electronics, and jewelry. Let's go to the sample site that I've created. So without this, if you don't need sub-level categories for your classified, so let's go to the classifieds uh, post type. So edit post settings, go to classified. Where we're limited with this is we can just show, we can just have top level categories here. For example, cars, electronics, and jewelry, but you can't really take it further than that. So what we really want to do is clone the classifieds and call this, for example, car classifieds, and then electronics classifieds and jewelry classifieds, and then add the respective subcategories underneath there. So let's step back a bit and go back to edit post settings. And let's clone the classifieds category. Great, I'm actually gonna do this two more times. All right, and one more time. All right, great. So now we have a copy of classifieds, copy, copy, copy. So let's now edit each one. And I'm going to call this one car classified. And I'm going to add three sub-level categories just for that. So let's do Ford, Toyota, and Honda. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the URL. What this also allows us to do is have a little bit better SEO structure with regards to the URL permalink for each classified category. So car classifieds for Toyota. And I'm also going to change the search results title. So when you go to the search results page, it's going to say car classifieds. I'll go ahead and save the changes. Let's do this for the other two. 
So we'll do electronics. And we'll do that here also. Let's spell it right. Now you might not think you need this because you don't have a classified site, but if you have other post types, you might want to utilize this strategy uh, for some of your other post types. So for electronics, let's do phones, tablets, and computers. And then I want to update the search results design here, the H1 title. So this will say electronics, electronic classifieds. There we go. And I'll save the changes. And the last one will be jewelry. And we'll do the same thing for the URL. And for jewelry, we'll do rings, bracelets, and necklaces. Did I spell jewelry right? Yes, I did. All right. And then we'll update the search results title. And we'll go ahead and save the changes. So if I go back to my edit post settings, I of course have all those other post types that come with Brilliant Directories events and things like that, but I don't really care about those. I'm just going to let them be. Um, what I do have now are three post types called Jewelry Classified, Electronics Classified, and Car Classified. But now that I've created this, these, these post types, these channels, I need to assign them to the members who can post these ty this type of content. So the next step we want to do, and all I've done is point and click. Uh, I haven't done anything complicated here. You want to go to manage products, which are your membership levels. And let's focus on the gold plan since I have a sample member there. So right now this guy can post articles, coupons, events, and all this good stuff. I'm going to strip that all away for this example. So what we want to do is lots of awesome settings here. We can go to post publishing, which are the publishing privileges for this membership level. I'm just going to use the can post all tool and I'm going to uncheck it. So now I know nothing, not everything is posted and I'm going to select my classifieds uh, that I just created. So we want car classifieds, electronic classifieds, can post and also jewelry classifieds. Bonus, bonus, bonus. If you have the paper post add-on and you're using this logic to set up your site, you can now define how much it is to post, uh, to create a post in each one of these categories. So maybe electronics is $1, maybe jewelry is $5, and maybe to list a car is $25. So you can now have different prices every time a member wants to post into one of these categories. And of course, what's also awesome is you can offer them maybe their first three posts free because you can offer free posts and then paid posts, um, or you can choose if they only have paid posts. In this case, let's just leave it as zero, which is unlimited free posts just for this example. I'll go ahead and save the changes now. So this membership level, let's go back here can post car classifieds, electronic classifieds, and jewelry classifieds. So let's log in as a gold member and see what they see. Great, so I can add content and you can really see how this creates a nice experience for the user, it really makes sense. You could, this is a text label, if your site's about classifieds, you could say create new classified ad, create, select a category. And to them, they feel like they're going to create a listing in a specific classifieds category. So we'll go ahead and choose car classified. And I'll go ahead and just post um, a simple car classifieds. We'll do Honda example. Uh, the price, $5,000. Let's get a little more real here. 2003 used Honda example, great condition. All right. So here's what's really cool. This is where the sub subcategories come in. Now when I'm creating a car classified, I can choose the category for this. So this is Toyota or and whatnot, or, and the condition for it, and you are used. And is it for sale, for rent, or is it sold? Is there an external web link and so on? So the key here are the 
custom categories because then you'll be able to search car classifieds, Toyota, and then some keywords and a price range and this and that. So it really creates a nice search experience for the user. So let's go ahead and save the changes. I'm just going to add a photo on the next screen. I think I have a car photo here. We'll upload the photo. Okay, great. So let's just view my car classified. And let's go to view post. All right. So here is my car classified listing. And we can see here the URL is car classifieds forward slash and then the post name. So this being here adds a very high level of SEO to your site because now it's creating a better subfolder for all your car classified listings. Uh, and then if we go here to the car classified search results page, if you were going to do a search, we see that in the sidebar here it says car classifieds and then the categories are the subcategories for uh, for the car classifieds for Toyota and Honda. I'm just going to do one more post. I want to post into the jewelry section. So we can add content. Well, I'll do electronics here. So publish status, yes, and we'll do iPhone 8 Plus, almost new. And we'll do $80. Now here again, the category for electronics I have here, phone, tablets, computers, it could be whatever it is for your website. In this case, I'll do phone, status used, and this is for rent. Maybe I'm gonna rent my phone. And I'll save the changes. And we'll add an image here. And what's really nice is when you have a site like this, if you look at the sidebar, it's really simple. There's only a few things here. I can manage my listing. Maybe they, these, these people don't even have leads, but maybe they do. Um, and then my account. It's not a really long, complicated menu. So now let's look at my electronics classified. So we'll view the post. And once again, we see in the URL, it's in the parent folder for electronics classifieds and then the name of the, the post. Um, and then here it is here. You can of course contact the member for this uh, regarding this post and so on. And then if we go to the search results page, we have electronics classified search, and then the categories, of course, are the ones related to electronics. So we have the subcategories here, um, and then we can do price range and things like that. So in a nutshell, that's exactly how you can uh, set up subcategories, and it actually enhances the SEO of your site, and it's incredibly useful, especially if your site is using is searching for one specific type of post. And I kind of want to kick things up a notch and provide some bonus material here. If you do this format, you can also have, you know, when you fill out the classifieds form, when someone's creating a post, they're inputting information. Now that we have, in this example, cars, electronics, and jewelry separate, we can actually customize the classified form and then add input fields specifically for each type of post. For example, for cars, you may want to add mileage, right? So let me show you in this example how you can customize the form, add, for example, a mileage field, we'll use cars in this example, and then how you see that data on the front end of your website. And so far up until now, besides adding those images into the, that menu there, we really haven't touched any code. All we've been doing is pointing and clicking. So if you could just spend a minute to kind of learn the inner workings of where to edit some of these things, um, you're going to be a ninja master with publishing websites and publishing different types of content on websites without any complicated coding. But let's add mileage to the cars input field now, David. So right now, all the all the classifieds that we've created, they're all using the same form to create a classified. Let's look at that form one time before we move forward. So let's post a car classified. It's just asking the same thing. The only thing different are those categories we set in the post type. But let's dive in here, create a custom form for this and add the mileage category. So what we wanna do is actually go to our toolbox and I'll start from the dashboard here. All right, great. So let's go to the toolbox and go to the form manager. And what we want to do is search for classified. 
So here's the feature classifieds, and I'm going to customize this. And when you customize a form, you have to add something new to it. So let me just quickly add just some numbers here. Otherwise, it, it won't let you. It wants to make sure you're actually doing something different to the form so we're not just um, customizing the master forms willy-nilly. Um, so, okay, we've added this form. Now we have the feature classifieds form. So let me edit this. We could do a whole program on editing forms. I'm going to keep this simple, though. Um, so the first thing I want to do is just add a new form field here, David, okay? I'm going to call this mileage. And we're going to call this car mileage for the, the system name. So when you have a system name, you can then go and, like, add this data into the search results or on the post detail page. Uh, so if you're a web designer or a developer, when you create these system variables and they're part of the post, it's really easy for you to start adding them to the pages. We have a simple way to add these to the pages if you're not a developer, and I'll show you that right now. Uh, the field type, we'll just do single uh, input, and I'm going to put this after the price. So here we go, price, and I'm going to save the changes. Now here's the thing, Dave, right now this form is the form for all the classified listings. I haven't really designated it for just cars. So I need to do something. I need to say, I need to change the system name from classifieds fields to something else like car classifieds. So it knows that this is gonna just be for cars. So you can go to actions and edit form settings. I'm just gonna change two things here. I'm gonna change the feature name to car classifieds so I can easily identify it myself. And the form variable name, I'm going to call it car underscore classified fields. And I'm going to save the changes. Brilliant. All right. We're done with the form now, David. Okay, let me just edit it, make sure the mileage is in there. We can see it's called car classifieds now. And we can see my mileage field right here. What I have to do now is I did create this form. It's custom on my site but I have to connect it to one of the post types, one of the post channels, so the system knows to use this form when I wanna post my car classified. So this is the final step is go to your edit post settings. And this is what I love about this platform, connecting forms to the post types, to what the members can publish. Those three things and the ability to control that gives you so much flexibility as the website owner. So we're going to go to car classifieds, and if I scroll down, it says select form to use. And right now it's just using the default form classifieds fields. So if I click this open, I can see my customized forms and I have car classifieds. So now my car classifieds post types will use the car classifieds form. And I can add many different types of fields that, that I want to collect data from my users for this post type. And I'm done, David. Let's let's now go post a car classified. I think if I went back here. So, Dave, now you can see here I have mileage, right? So let's publish a new post. 2015 Honda Civic, black, low mileage, right? Price, $15,000. Mileage, 5,000 miles. Category, Honda. And again, you can move these anywhere you want. Condition used for sale. And we'll go ahead and save. Let's, yeah, let's save the changes. Let's just add one image. And we'll upload. Fantastic. So we're done. Let's go look at this post now, David. So what I love is when you customize a form and you start adding custom form fields, over here you have post details in the sidebar. Immediately we can see the title, the price, and even the new custom field I just added for mileage, it says 5,000. Condition is used for sale, etc. So you can add unlimited input fields and it's going to be part of the post. Um, so you're not going to skip a beat. You don't need to do any complicated coding. And of course, I didn't do it, but the, the person who's posting it can write a very decorated description of the product that's being uh, listed here.